majority following the walk out of the minority did not constitute a voting quorum as required by Article 104 of the 1992 Constitution and the lucid judgment of the Supreme Court in the Justice Abdullahi matter. So for those of you who are doubting and want to know what guided the decision of the minority caucus, we simply walk out to disenable them from having to quote the words of the Supreme Court, a voting quorum. They are simply and were simply less than 137. At least, I'm using 137 because conspicuously, everybody in the world in Ghana know the Honorable Ajua Safo was not present. And therefore, you had 137. Additionally, we know that there was an ambulance within the presence of parliament, but the person who is purported to have been in the ambulance was not present in the chamber for purpose of exercising a vote. Therefore, every decision that they took with 136 flies as a sin against the ruling of the Supreme Court. And for emphasis, I'm going to read page 12 of the Supreme Court ruling when it said, there is a, sec a second quorum provision found in Article 1041. This provision applies specifically and exclusively to voting to determine a matter in Parliament. Article 1041 provides as follows. I'm quoting the ruling. Except as otherwise provided in this constitution, matters in Parliament shall be determined by the votes of majority of members present and voting with at least half of all the members of Parliament present. During second reading, you did not have half of members of Parliament present. During the consideration stage, you did not have half of members of Parliament present, yeah. per the Supreme Court ruling. Yeah.